This lesson talks about the three dimensions of uh, measuring geometric figures. Okay, And I think I'm going to start off with what some of us like to do is to go to movies that are in 3D. Have you ever thought about what 3D means when you wear those goofy glasses? Well, 3D means three-dimensional. And when things are measured three-dimensional, what they have is they have this third dimension, which is called the depth. So not only do you see a flat screen length times width in the movie theater, but things jump out at you. They come out with depth away from the from the flat screen. So that gives it the third dimension. That's why they call it 3D. Now. If we're going to look at if we're if we're going to look at what we've so far have discovered with circles, okay? When we look at 1D, so there's just not 3D, there's 1D and 2D. One dimension is kind of just like a string or say this ring, if I can get it off my fat finger, if that gold just goes around just like that, that if we unravel this, we could just make a nice straight line. One dimensional is just length. It's kind of like, you know, putting a string around here or putting or just that line. And when we measure just lines, just the length, okay, we only measure it like in inches or feet or centimeters. All right. Now, a circumference measures a line around a circle, whereas a rectangle or square, it's called a perimeter. Peri means outside, meter means to measure. Okay, So this line that goes around a rectangle is called a perimeter. That's measured in 1D, which it just might be 15 inches. Okay. Now, if we go to two-dimensional, Two-dimensional means the flat surface area of a geometric object. So if we take the area of a rectangle, we take its length, we multiply by its width to find out how many square blocks are here. So if L is 3 and W is 4, 3 times 4 will be equal to 12 blocks. Okay. Whereas over here, the area for this uh, tabletop, the flat surface area, is pi times r squared, kind of a fancy formula there, but it's still measuring the number of square blocks. Now, those square blocks are length times width, okay? And remember in a circle, remember our square blocks here, length times width. So that is the two, those are the two dimensions, length times width. That's called area. We measure it on a flat surface. It's measured in square units or inches squared or centimeters squared. All right. Now, three dimensional is when you get something with thickness. Okay. So not only do we look at its, its flat surface, but it's depth, okay? And so uh, a sphere or a ball is a 3D circle. And you would measure either a sphere or a box. Remember, a three-dimensional um, a three-dimensional rectangle that has depth is a box. So you measure boxes and spheres or balls in cubic units, which is kind of like a, a square ice cube, okay? And so 3D is three dimensions, length, width, and then depth. It's met, and, and that measurement is called the volume of a particular shape. Uh, those are measured in block, cubic blocks and it looks like inches cubed, which can be, let's say it was um, inches cubed. Cubed is three, because we're looking at three dimensions. Whereas 
our area would be inches squared two dimensions length and width here three dimensions uh, length width and depth and of course if we go clear up to the number of inches along a string it's inches to the first power and anything to the first power is itself so we only say it's measured in inches okay hope that helps clarify